Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this daytime smoky eye. Motanescu, don't even think about it. That's right. Now if you're looking at me and you're like, really? Daytime smoky eye? Yes, you could absolutely wear this during the day. And then I paired it with this beautiful natural lip color and smoky eyes can be worn by everybody you just need to find the right colors for you and the right shape it's all about the shape you could absolutely wear this if you have hooded eyes if you have a lot of space if you have more like almond shape if you have round shape if you have small eyes bigger eyes like it's for everybody and just remember smoky eyes is not just black all over okay that is like the classic i would say smoky eyes if you're a beginner you want to watch this tutorial because this is for you it's so easy it's so simple i'm using two brushes to do my eye makeup it's that easy before we get started please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that ring bell button the reason why i keep on asking you to click on that ring bell button is because if you don't you're not going to be notified when i'm posting a new video and it's a pity because I'm doing these videos with all my heart and I'm sharing all the information that I got throughout the years so if you like makeup if you like my videos please click on that ring bell button and you're gonna be notified when I'm posting a new video now if you want to see how I've created this look then please keep on watching let's prime first I'm not having a good day one two three four five six Jimmy John I don't even have enough names to name all the pimples on my face, like not the best day of my life. I'm going to use a primer and this is one of those primers that's gonna fill in the pores. This is from Winky Lux Whipped Cream Primer. I am applying this only on the center of my face where I've got large pores. This is going to help smooth everything. So I'm going to be back at my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I'll use 3.5 and 4 together. I will apply it with my fingers, although I don't have the patience today. As you can see, I never apply foundation under my eyes, just because I don't want to have layers of product under the eyes. That is a very difficult area that needs to be covered, but also has to look natural, and then there is a lot of movement in there, so I'd, I'd rather have a really good product that covers than layers and layers. I'll take my beauty blender. I have no patience today, and I'm just going to blend everything. I need to tell you that all these pimples that I have on my face, I did it with my own hand. Meaning that last night, I was... <coughs> you know exactly what I mean. Not all of you, but... This is my favorite concealer and I'm using it all the time. I wouldn't see why I wouldn't use it today. So I've got light medium and light sand. Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte. The thing about this concealer is that it is very thick, but it covers so well and it can look very natural depending on the quantity that you're applying. And I'm not applying the concealer very close to my lash line because you want to apply the concealer like in a triangular shape, like I will apply the concealer a little bit on my eyelids. When I get really close to the lash line, I'd rather not have any concealer like in here. That shadow, that natural shadow that I have in here, or darkness or pigmentation or whatever you want to call it, I don't mind. I'm filming all by myself because Alex is in LA. I'm going to join him on April 24th. It sucks being by yourself. I will use my concealer to cover John and Jimmy and Joe and Bob. I've covered the I've covered the blemishes as well. Now let's powder. I'm going to use this powder from Kat Von D, this is Lock It Setting Powder, and it's a translucent powder. Make sure there's no product in the creases. Then you immediately 
make it a sexy face. So first, you want to set the under eyes. You can use a little bit on your eyelids. So many of my clients complain about having their eyeliner smudged throughout the day. And I was thinking about doing a video on how to prevent the eyeliner from smudging throughout the day because there are a few tips and tricks that you could do in order to stop that. I swear this powder has like a sheen to it. Oh yeah, it reflects the light. Now let's uh, warm up the skin a little bit. I did my eyebrows off the camera and I was using Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills in medium brown and then I've used, this is the one that I have in my personal makeup kit, it's just a sample but it's the, uh, the clear brow gel also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I can't live without this thing. And now I'm going to move the cam closer so you can see what I'm doing with my eyes. I promised you that this is going to be the most simple smoky eye that you could possibly create. Now the easiest way to do this and to make sure that this is going to last your whole day, I suggest you to use a cream eyeshadow. Not all cream eyeshadows are very good and long, long lasting, but for example, this one from Elise Fass, it has a really cool packaging, right? It comes in this packaging, then you Okay, I like this color, it's E105, this is not too warm, not too cool, so pretty much everybody can use this, and this is what I'm going to use today. If you're in Romania, you can find this on Savage Beauties, I'll put the link in here. However, I want to show you some other products that you could use, some other creamy products that I've used and they did and they did not crease on me. This is from Butter London. It, it's actually an eye gloss, that's how they call it. It has a very nice jelly texture. I would wear this more in the evening. And then this color, which is Icing, also from Butter London. This is also very pretty. Let me show you how it looks like on the skin. It's so pretty and it lasts. What I love about it, it lasts, it does not crease. Makeup Forever has really good ones. All the paint pots, MAC are really good and long lasting. Like I said, I'm going to use the Elis Fass. <clears throat> I, just, I just like the color a lot. Don't forget that smoky eye can be any color. It can be green, can be purple, blue, whatever you want. I like how easy you can apply this uh, product with the with the brush that comes in. So I'm basically applying this all over my eyelids and a little bit in the crease. As I go up towards my my brow bone, I'm using very light pressure so that I don't apply a lot of product. Then with a blending brush, and this is 142 from Zoeva, I'm just blending the edges. This is such a great brush for creamy products. And then the same product, I'm applying it on my lower lash line. A lot of people told me, a lot of my clients told me that they never use eyeshadow on their lower lash line. And I asked them like, why not? And usually the answer that I get is, I don't think I look good with eyeshadow on my lower lash line. And I know what you mean. You're, you're probably going a little bit lower than you should. So I don't know if you can see, but I'm going like this close, like right at the base of my lashes. And even if I go lower, it's nice and blended. Pretty much every eye shape, I'm not saying every eye shape, but a lot of um, eye shapes look good with eyeshadow on the lower lash line. I'm applying a little bit more product in here at the outer corner and I blend it. I also blend the lower lash line. This is so pretty already but 
I want to make it a little bit darker. I'm going to use this Givenchy pencil right at the base of my lashes. I just dotted. Can you see? Like simply dotted. Be patient. If I know anything about women in makeup is that most of us don't have the patience for it. You don't need to do any wing. You don't need to do anything like that. You can absolutely see it's not perfect, okay? Now with a brush, or I guess you could do it with your finger as well. Yeah, you could absolutely do it with your finger. You just smudge this, like so. Like I said, there is nothing perfect about this makeup look. So don't worry about not being precise enough. Let's make it a little bit thicker. Now I come with a brush and this is 228 brush. If you find that this is a little bit too dark for you, you can absolutely use a brown pencil at the base of your lashes. So just take this technique and Use the colors that you want. Next, I'm going to take this Butter London Glazing Eye Gloss. The one that I showed you earlier is so pretty. I'll take it with my finger and I will apply it only on the middle of my eyelid. Now, in my opinion, this totally changes the game because it it opens up the eye, it reflects light because it has that shine to it, but it but you still have that smokiness. Now I'll use this coal from Givenchy. This is in number two and it's a shimmery brown and I'm going to apply this on the waterline. Then I take my brush and I just smudge this like so. Now let's try this Givenchy mascara. I've never tried this before. Deep black, that's all it says. It has an interesting brush, which I absolutely hate. I received this from Sephora and I tried it in a tutorial that I was doing, in a tutorial that I was doing for you on Instagram and I loved it. I think I'm going to buy the regular size. This is the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. Oh yes. Not bad at all. Guys, this is actually a very good mascara. I like it. MAC Oak Lip Liner. One of my favorite. Then I'm going to use this Galactic Matte Lip Paint. This is in Bashful. I've applied it on the center of my lip and then with my finger. You see how natural and beautiful it looks like this? I will just correct the lip contour a little bit. I'm not done, but I just wanted you to see the whole look. I'm going to set everything with the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of a glow. Let's just use something liquid. I'll use the Iconic London Highlighter. This is an original. I'll just put a little bit on my hand like so. And then with my fingers, I'll just tap this on the skin. Yeah, that's exactly the kind of glow I wanted. Very soft. If your skin is very dry and if you've noticed that highlighters just don't look good on you like this type of highlighter powder try the liquid so this concludes my daytime smoky eye it is a little bit dramatic but it's smoky eye and and if you wear it with confidence you're gonna wear the makeup not the other way around wear it with your hair not very styled and it's going to look really good for daytime i love the way it turned out if you did too 
please give it a thumbs up. That is actually helping me a lot. And make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and also that you've clicked on the ring bell button so you will get notifications when I'm posting a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. You furry little... He's sleepy. He's always sleepy. He understands every language. Love me, feed me, never leave me. Just a tiny little bit of weight. Okay. No, no, no.